Hi, this is Tommy Hall with MathNook.com, and I'm here to give a quick overview on how to play our Build-A-Bot Grid game. If you're not uh, familiar with MathNook, we have lots of free math games and puzzle games to play, as well as teaching tools, and there's never any membership or sign-up required to use our uh, tool, teaching tools or play our games, and they're all free to play and use. Okay, when you first start the game, this is the menu you'll see. It's a uh, coordinate grid game where you'll need to plot some uh, a list of ordered pairs onto the coordinate grid to create robots. And there's 20 robots to create. There's no time limit on the, on the game, so um, you can take all the time you want, and you'll see how to play. I'm going to go over that in just a second. But first... Um, the uh, video button here, this is the main menu you'll see. The video button will take you to the page on MathNook that has this video in case you'd like to see it again. The More Games button will take you to our sister site, lofgames.com. They also have math games and puzzle games to play. And like MathNook, there's never any membership or sign-up required, and everything's free to play. The instructions... I'm going to go over that, but you can read them uh, if you'd like to. You just click that button, and you can read the instructions. Uh, the play button, I'm going to click that. But before I do that, I'd like to say, if you're looking for this game, you would need to go to MathNook. On the front page, there's a list of games by category, and they list uh, the various math skills. Uh, so you're going to have um, their text links. So you're going to have uh, coordinate grid games. Uh, I think actually it says coordinate grid. Click on that text link and it takes you to the page on MathNook that has all of our coordinate grid games. And this game will be there. Okay, let's go ahead and click play. And at this point you can choose to play on quadrant one only or all four quadrants. And I'm going to show you both of those so you'll see what I'm talking about. If you click the back button, it will take you back to the main menu. And let's go ahead and click quadrant one. Now I've played the first menu. Uh, I'm sorry, the first level. So you can see, and, and, and I, I completed it, and then the second one level open. I can't play these because they are locked. If I want to reset my progress in the game, I would go ahead and click that button up there. And if I click this, it won't reset it. But you notice the first and second level were open. I'm going to go ahead and uh, well, I'm not going to do that because I want to show the couple of levels. But I'll do that on uh, the four quadrant mode. So the first level, you've got a list of ordered pairs. And actually, I can tell by looking at this, this is two parts to the robot. And I'll go ahead and click those. I can click all over. There's no errors. There's no time limit. And oh, actually, I clicked 9-6, which was on the list. So you can uh, see that, um, you know, you don't get any errors and there's no time limit so you can just kind of take your time 8 16 5 13 5 across 8 and i got that one and you can also uh you don't have to do these in order as you saw earlier i just clicked on that one spot i believe it's this one it showed up there uh 12 o'clock cross three i'll go ahead and click that one and i've done this one let's see for quite a bit and i know where these points are but you can see that i got those um, 8, 4, and then I need 10, 5, and that'll be the part. You can see part of the robot showed up because I completed this uh, listing right here. They're all green. As you get, as you get um, the points, you can see that um, if you get the points plotted, you'll see that the black ordered set of ordered pairs will turn to green. Let's go ahead and get 11, 8. 11, 10, and last but not least, this is the last of the two parts. You're going to see what happens when I get that one. The robot appears. This blocks your uh, view sometimes, so you can always move it around. So you can view your robot, and you can go to choose to go to the main menu or click Next, and it's level 2, and I have some more points uh, to plot. And um, as you play along, you may notice um, this one. I don't believe has it, but you're gonna. You, you may notice that that uh, you'll have the same ordered pair up here and down here, and that's fine. Once you get one, it'll it, both of them will turn green, so you only have to get it once. Okay, let's take a look at the four quadrant mode. It's the same robot, but now you're plotting it on all four quadrants. 
um, you'll have points applied as you can see up here. It's the same robot, so I'll do negative one, seven, negative four, four, negative four, negative one, zero, negative three, um, two. I'm going to go ahead and try to do this in order. I'm going to get carried away, and it will be two across one, three across four, and you're going to notice that. His, the robot's body showed up first, whereas the last time this piece down here showed up, which I'm fixing to plot right now. One across negative four, uh, negative one, negative five, one, negative six, three, negative six, three, negative five, and last but not least, one, negative five. And the same thing, you've got this. Um, you can move it over here, see all the points, or actually on this one, but when you further levels you're going to have uh robots with quite a few parts so you may have the listing go down over here so you could might have to move this over but you can move it wherever you want and you can see uh the work you did okay let's take a look at the uh pretty much covered everything here back to the main menu um i would like to say before i uh, stop the video before i end this video if you have any questions or um uh, suggestions or games you'd like to see feel free to contact us at info at mathnook.com and uh, let us know if you'd like to see more games or if you have any questions let us know we're pretty good about getting back to everybody and uh, always like the uh, suggestions so anyways i hope you have fun playing this game and i hope the video helps some and thanks for watching